Hey everyone, my name is Matthew Dufresne. Thank you for joining me. I am an account executive with Law Ruler. Today we're going to be going over Law Ruler's new user interface and how to navigate some of the changes that you may have seen. So let's go ahead and let's dive into the software and take a closer look. So one of the changes you might have noticed right off the bat is our new and improved inbox screen. So the inbox has always been very important aspect of Law Ruler. It's where all of your leads and cases live inside of the system. So for those of you who have been using our system for a long time, you'll notice a few things are moved. And I'm gonna go over where everything is located now. On the top left-hand side, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna see the check mark to select all. You can also start selecting a few of them here and there in order to make your selections on which leads you want to change. From there, you're going to go through, you can create and edit actions based on what you would like to do for each of these leads. For example, if you wanna go ahead and mark them as red, mark them as unread, change their case type, status, you can do all of that with the three dots located next to their name and next to the checkbox. Very similar to how you did it before. Inside of here, you can also easily sort by each column, similar to how you did before by clicking on the column, it allows you to sort by that column. You can easily search through the inbox with our newly added search feature, right here on the screen. This will search through anything you need inside of the inbox. Next to that is how you can now export your inbox list to an Excel spreadsheet at any time. Just go ahead and click that button and it's gonna download the file on the bottom left-hand side or wherever your files download. To the right of that is where you're gonna be able to select your defaults. It's very similar to how you had it before. You can come in here and you can go through the different defaults you've had before. If you'd like to create a new default, simply hit new default and you will be brought to our column builder. Next section is gonna be the sort order. As opposed to sorting by these columns, you can also sort by things like case created date, idle time, leads created. Once you select which one you want, go ahead and hit apply. And then of course, our filters. Our filters are very similar to the way they were before. You can filter through your leads and intakes or cases. Make sure the one that you want is corresponding checked off. You can also go through what record type, things like the tag status, you can even save filters so you don't have to keep selecting them each and every time. You can easily go in here and save and filter through your save. Once you're done choosing what to filter, hit apply and that'll filter out your inbox and give you exactly what you want to see when you want to see it. If you to click the add a button next to the leads, this is going to bring you to our new intake wizard. This will allow you to go through and add a new intake into Law Ruler. All right, with that being said, that is our new inbox. Now let's go ahead. And let's dive into one of the leads. You're gonna notice that lead navigation looks a little bit different. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for the screen to load. My internet's running a little bit slow. Here you can see that we have, we have a lead coming up. So this lead is a demo lead inside of our system. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the navigation inside of this, because you're gonna see a lot has changed. So first and foremost, is the top. This is where we can now see the case name, the lead name, the case type, and the status. All back and easy to see. You're also going to be able to see your vitals. Your vital screen is going to tell you things like what is your name, what is the best cell phone number to reach you at. You can edit this by clicking on the edit icon. This will allow you to fill out these different vitals pages. You can also click on the settings option that's gonna bring you to the form builder in order to create your case and your intake vitals. Down here, you're gonna have your milestones. These are the new milestones inside of Law Ruler, the new look. This is replacing the old milestone system. So this is working the exact same way it worked before, just a little bit different of an aesthetic. Down here, you can see all of the details. Instead of having the different tiles separating them out, we now have different dropdowns, allowing you to easily see everything that this lead needs during the overview, such as the case type, marketing source, what their status is, their rating, anything you need to see. Who's working on the case is all located in the staffing column. This is gonna highlight the intake specialist, the intake manager, and the other different staff members working on this case. Same thing with the court section. This is where you can keep track of your docket number, court, county filing, and state of filing. On the right-hand side, you are going to see these three different boxes. These are going to go with you to every page. 
You can see things like a recent activity highlight where you can scroll through all the different activity this lead has gone through, any upcoming events they have, and of course, their contact information tile. Above all of this, you're going to see the action menu. The action menu is going to give you quick and easy to use actions that you can do with this lead, such as edit the case name, primary contact, change primary contact, and so on and so forth. To expand, the menu on the left-hand side to see what everything is, you can click on this little arrow. This expands and collapses. If you ever need to go back to the main menu to get out of this, you can click on the hamburger icon on the top left. This brings you back to our outside menu. For now, we're going to click X. Next section is our related contacts. Related contacts is where you're going to go to add any contacts related to this case, such as judges, defendants, co-counsel, anything that you need will be added here. You can simply hit add party up in the top right. And then you're going to go through and add like you used to. What you're going to notice here is you're going to see conflict checks and issues. So you're going to see if there's any issues, it's going to highlight with a red little one, and it's going to tell you what those potential conflicts or issues are. You can easily resolve those issues by clicking on resolve issues in the top left that will walk you through any potential conflicts of interest or issues found with the contacts on your case. Next section is going to be your form. This is your new intake form. It's very similar to the way it was before. Nothing is really changing. It's just gonna go ahead and put some softer colors in there. Everything else is remaining the same. Key dates remain the same. It's just, we updated the softer aesthetics as well. Same thing with notes, events, tasks, documents. Documents, we did put the e-sign. You'll notice that there's no more e-sign menu icon located on the left-hand side. You can now find the e-sign in documents under the e <clears throat> on the top tabs. Documents is where the document management system is. This is where you can find all your custom tailored folders to each case and case type. If you want to send an e-sign, you can simply go to the e-sign tab. This is where you would find your e-signs to send out. Simply hit send or sign now to send your retainer agreements out. And of course, you can always check on their status by clicking on e-sign status. Text messages and emails have now been combined into their own tab called communications. Simply click on communications and you can find emails and text located right here. Simply click on the different tabs to navigate through them. And that pretty much does it for all of the updates that has come with the new user interface. There are a few more to come out in the future. I will be releasing more videos as we release more features. We are constantly innovating and looking to improve the software however we can. If you have any feedback, please feel free to submit any comments or concerns to support at lawruler.com. We would love to hear your thoughts and we would love to hear from you about your experience with our recent update. Again, my name is Matthew Dufresne, an account executive with Law Ruler. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to hearing from everyone shortly. Have a great day.